this is the Magi uh, Edge Bander model 3 slash 50 and that means that the maximum capacity of the machine is 50 millimeters tall, 2 inches, and 3 millimeters thick on coil banding. It can do strip banding up to 2 millimeters. Some of the features of this machine are outboard support rail for large panels, touch screen di display with multiple language uh, function, you can select uh, what language you'd like. In this case, we're using English, but it has all different other languages available. And there's an input-output function to check input-outputs of the machine for troubleshooting and temperature regulation. The uh, machine is controlled through a touchscreen system. Uh, the green light indicates control voltage is on. We have it in green echo mode which means the glue will just reside at 150, 160 degrees in idle. When we want to go up to working temperature, we turn it to red dot, which is high temp, and we're told to wait until the glue comes up to temperature. This symbol here is the feed conveyor. This symbol here is the flush end trims, and this one is the top and bottom trim. We, it, the machine will prevent us from turning these on until the glue is ready. Some of the units on this machine are magazine table, which when the machine is not in use, it can be rotated vertically and swung around and stored behind the machine. It has an automatic magazine to feed the strip up onto the leading edge of the board so that it's done once and the machine takes care of itself. This is a hot melt glue pot, allowing you to use granular or pelletized glue, controlling your cost, increasing your bonding. We have a guillotine to rough cut the uh, banding to length, and three pressure rollers, all spring loaded, and all independent, so that you get maximum adhesion. End trimming unit is a scissor type or guillotine type end trim also controlled, and then top and bottom trimmer using high frequency motors like the big machines. The uh, conveyor door also opens on this machine for cleaning and maintenance. Just loosen the hand wheel a couple of turns. It gives you the message the feeder door is open. It allows you to maintain and check all of your units down the line for ease of use. Some of the units on this machine are hot milk glue pot with glue roller for maximum adhesion to your banding. We have a rubber covered roller to cushion the bonding of the two together and then two independent uh, chrome rollers to push the banding into the, to the material. We have a guillotine style end trim that is flush cut only. And then we get down to where the, the Magi has spent all of their development money. And all their development money was spent here. We ride on double THK rails through the whole machine, so there's zero play. These are, these are CNC grade rails and bearings that uh, other machine makers use round rods and round bearings, which are not as precise. They also run a large 70 millimeter diameter cutter head which gives you very high tip speed and gives you very very smooth clean cutting as well as we climb cut through the material giving us perfect finishing without buffing and also the cutter heads are dual knife profile and so as one side becomes dull then you can take the cutter heads out reverse them top or bottom by flipping them around and then you have new sharp inserts to run till you get uh, those are dull. There's also a drawer on the back of the machine to catch your end trim part, uh, pieces as they're processing through the machine to keep your factory clean. When setting the machine up for a new product, you would measure the thickness of your part. You'll set the in-feed pressure beam uh, height as well as the outfeed pressure beam height 
and also the top trimmer, which we'll take a view in just a second. These are the height control for the top trimmer. It should equal the thickness of your material as well. So the glue says it's now ready, which will then let me uh, turn the, the other functions on. I'm going to turn the conveyor on. I'm going to turn the end trim on and the top and bottom on. And now we're going to process the panel through and we'll see perfect on the other side. produces perfect panels without fuzzing. Edge banding uh, shows nobody wants to ever run veneer because of the felt backer will always fuzz. Maggi's top and bottom trimmers are superior and therefore we have no problem running and showing veneer with felt backer at any show. This machine is probably one of the fastest, easiest machines to change over from thin to thick material or strips. All that you do is remove the old banding, store it away, grab the new banding, place it on the table, pull it in through the weighted bar on the magazine. Feed it through the economizer, feed it up through the strip guide till it's right to the edge of the guillotine. And the magazine is now ready. Now we will move over to the top and bottom trimmer. So we were using a 0.5 millimeter veneer and as you see we're running 0.5 on the counter. We are going to go to 2 millimeter banding so we are going to move these top and bottom trimmer to two millimeter. And now the machine is ready to run. Now we're going to run six PVC immediately following uh, what we just finished was uh, veneer. So we're going to go in conveyor, in trim, top and bottom, and now we're going to put it in. about this machine is you have a diagnostic screen to check all the functions of the machine. In this case I'm going to demonstrate by opening the gate and you see we had a switch go off and now I can take a panel 
and I can roll it over the switches and you can then see that they are functioning to tell me where the problem in the machine might ever be. There's a very quick and easy way to set up your strip guides on the magazine so you get error-free operation. The first one is this rubber covered roller which we also cover in just blue uh, painters tape so in case you get a misfeed the glue will not stick to the rubber and if you do all you do is find the seam pull it off and put one ring of blue blue uh, painters tape around it now we're going to set it for the correct height which is basically run the top down till it touches then open it one complete turn and then lock it in position with the black knob and return the banding till it's flush at the guillotine. Uh, the front strip guide has a T-shaped washer and when it's set correctly the banding should move up and down about a sixteenth of an inch. It should not drag on the banding. Also the glue level. One inch from the top of the inside of the uh, opening would be full and when you're empty you'll see in the center of the glue pot a metal donut ring about two inches in diameter that would be empty. So what I'd like to do is explain this sticker which is glue flow. There's an aluminum bar going across here that's shown in the sticker in orange. When this aluminum bar is moved via the adjustment screw with eight millimeter wrench here when this bar goes that way it will put more glue on the panel. So uh, that would re equate to counterclockwise of the screw head would add more glue to the panel. I only adjust in one flat increments at a time and I would run a board figure out if I wanted more or less and then go one flat increment. There is no lock and it will not move during production. Also on the guillotine every six months or once a year please put a little bit of oil or grease down into the grooves of the guillotine knife that make sure that they slide free and smooth. In addition the rods here and here require some oil on them not WD-40 just regular old motor oil works perfectly fine to keep them lubricated and running smooth. In order to uh, facilitate correct functioning of the machine the edge bander has a centralized four inch dust collection port and it must be connected to vacuum in order to run correctly and cleanly. We uh, test every machine before it leaves our uh, warehouse and we have found pretty good results with Joe Watt 280.30 glue. Um, and if you need to change glue manufacturers, please adhere to their specifications try, uh, when you have an equivalent manufacturer. In addition, the trimmer knives for the top and bottom are replaceable disposable inserts. They are not resharpenable and they are double sided like we discussed and the part number for them is here. In addition the cutting knives here, here and the guillotine here all can be removed and sent out to your local saw shop for resharpening as needed. So in conclusion, the Magi 350 edge bander, three millimeter capacity, 50 millimeters or two inch tall, high performance edge bander, capable of doing the hardest thing of all, veneers up to thick edging, and you should see a productivity increase of tenfold what you're currently doing by hand.